Weekend of Champions continues here in race number seven, Cavendish Farms, Atlantic Breeders' Crown, Consolation, two-year-old Colts, purse $7,500. Let's go back upstairs to Vance Cameron. J.J. Maximus, Woodmere Bankroll, Hal Mac Maximus, Middleton Terror, Zendaya Cougar Beach, Woodmere Denver, Woodmere Gaelic, J.J. Xavier, top of the stretch. They're approaching a start. Up and pacing. Middleton Terror leaping out towards the rail. That is Woodmere Bankroll coming up from the outside. Third is J.J. Xavier. Three high around the turn. Moving into fourth is Halmack Maximus. J.J. Maximus. He's away fifth. Now in sixth and Dale Cougar Beach. Seventh is Woodmere Denver and trailing the field. Woodmere Gaelic along the back stretch and all the way from the grandstand side. J.J. Xavier for Mark Bradley made the lead. Passing on the opening quarter, Woodmere Bankroll is second. Third up the rail, Middleton Terror, 28 and one. A solid opening quarter. Fourth on the turn, that is how Mac Maximus. Back into fifth is J.J. Maximus. Zendaya Cougar Beach is sixth. To the outside, seventh, Woodmere Denver. Trailing the field, Woodmere Gaelic. They approach the opening half mile next, led by J.J. Xavier in line to Mark Pratley. Second is Woodmere Bankroll. There goes Middleton Terror now. First up on the outside, third, following him out fourth. How Mac Maximus. J.J. Maximus will ride the rail fifth. Moving up six on the outside. Woodmere Denver at the rail seventh, and Dale Cougar Beach, and the trailer on the outside. Woodmere Gaelic, 57 and three for a half a mile. Up the back stretch they go, and from the outside, Middleton Terror has taken over the lead. Coming on to be second is Hal Mac Maximus, backpedaling third, J.J. Xavier. Fourth and squeezing out here between them. Woodmere Bankroll, and I mean traffic, mighty tight here. Three quarters up in one, 27, and there goes the inquiry sign. They're headed on home. Middleton Terror. Second is Hal Mac Maximus. The battle on for third, but it's Middleton Terror in the Breeders' Crown Consolation two-year-old Colt Pacers. Second is Hal Mac Maximus. We need a show photo. What a trip today in the Consolation one. 55 and 1. Wow! Here comes the replay from race number seven, Slow Mo, brought to you by Universal Media. And we saw Middleton Terror here get a new record today, 155 and one, come first up at the half. Laying down the fractions was the eight, JJ Xavier, 28 and one, the half, 57 and three. Middleton Terror came calling, 127 to three quarters, and he chucks a last quarter at them in 28 and one, and drives away from them today, 155 and one, new record. Congratulations to the owners, Kingsley Walsh and Frank Balcom, and the trainer, Donnie McNeil, of course, the driver, David Dowling, Hal Mac Maximus in there for second. It looked like the six to me get up for third, and it is, the six is third, and JJ Maximus, the one, I believe, in there for fourth, but it's hard for me to tell here from the desk. So anyway, we have a four, three, six, eight in race number seven. The horse, the winning connections will back in the Red Shores winner circle next.
Middleton Terror arriving at the seventh race winner's circle. Bay facing Gelding 2 by Stonebridge Terror off the Mach 3 Dam. Miracle on the Hudson. Owned by Kingsley Walsh of Albany and Frank Falcom from Amherst, Nova Scotia. Colt bred by Noonan Holdings Limited and Russell Noonan. He's trained by Donnie McNeil and David Dowling got a catch driving call to the winner's circle. What a trip by the Colt on this day. Facing to a new race win record of 155. And one fifth, Middleton Terror in the Cavendish Farms Atlantic Breeders Crown Consolation for two year old Colt Pacers with the trackside presentation. The judge's inquiry involves the conduct of the race going to the seven eights. <laughs> 